everyone. I know, sorry, didn't mean to scare you, but I've got something exciting to share with you because I've got a discount, a 20% discount to share with you from the Light Salon. These are the Boost LED masks. This is the face one, and this is the one for the neck and chest. I think you get the idea, so let me just pop it off. <laughs> Light therapy is so, so good for us all. Um, not only is it great for our skin, not only does it kind of stimulate more collagen, um, it is wonderful for inflammation. In fact, my friend had such a hideous time during COVID. She said to me, I don't deserve the skin that I've got, Carol, and I put that down to my mask um, because with all these things, you have to use them regularly, at least three times a week. And I really like these masks because they have the protective eyes, the eye goggles inside. So I have used other masks before that haven't had those inserts. So when I open my eyes, I can actually feel the red light around. And I know it's not damaging, it's fine, but it just doesn't feel right to me. So this is another reason why I love the Light Cell Mask over any other one. Um, and the reason is, is because I like to just do some emails. If I'm just quietly just finishing off, finishing off some emails and I just go along my bed, I take my 10 minutes or I do it in the morning and just go through little messages or whatever. I try and fit something else in. I know it's like multitasking, but sometimes you just don't have that time three times a week. Um, so anyway, um, the, the light salon got in contact with me and said, please, please, we would love to share 20% discount. Now, these are products that aren't cheap, but they are investment products if you are going to use them long term. Um, so if you have psoriasis or eczema or general irritation or inflammation to your skin, maybe you've got dietary issues which kind of creates that redness around your skin, um, it really does, over a long period of time, increase the tone and texture of your skin. And it does allow you to sit down and relax and the red light is relaxing in itself. So before I started with this red lipstick video, I just wanted to show you the links in the description. I don't know any from this, anything from this at all. It's just straight down the line for you, but I jumped at the chance um, when they offered this discount. So enjoy if you decide to make a little purchase. Um, right, onto the main event, um, red lipstick. So some different textures and products to inspire you, obviously. February being the, the month of love. Well, surely every month should be about love. Anyway, um, but yes, diving into that commercial marketer's dream, um, I'm going to show you my red favorites and some pink reds and some orangey reds um, and just a few little ways to prep your lips. So I'm sure I've banged on about this before, but um, Cicaplast and La roche Posay, I think I probably did it in my Maintenance Beauty. If not, I will do a proper film on that. These two guys are my favorite go-to um, lip hydrators. They really are fantastic. Can't really choose between the two of them. This one has the hyaluronic and the squalene in, um, and it has the metal um, application. But the Cicaplast, I mean, I've just had for years and years and years, and it's just so good because of my lip treatment, not as dry this winter. So um, that's nice, but these just two are fantastic. It takes a while to kind of find products that um, don't irritate your lips. So great lip prep comes in this form. Um, so look how much you get for your money as well. I think it's like 12 quid, or I think it's even cheaper than that. But it's like a massive big deodorant stick. You're never gonna run out of that. Um, I've often talked about um, Trini London's Miracle Blur just for smoothing the fine lines around your lips but this is a really lovely base. Oh, silence is golden. <laughs> um, just for all over your lip if you struggle with keeping colour on or you're a kind of lip muncher as I talked to my mum about. I came across this, it's brilliant also for open pores, for any kind of blurring effect it's like fragrance to it actually. I didn't smell that before, it's actually quite nice. Mm, but it's fragranced. Um, and it just really helps a smooth application of lipstick and it just softens those, um, fart, those pores being more visible if you want to. Gosh, I look quite pale, don't I? I thought I'd just, I've obviously got my eyes on um, and I'm gonna add more color and stuff just to balance out the lip when we've kind of got to the finale. Um, but yes, on my eyes, in case you ask, I've got a Bare Minerals um, Minimalist palette, and this is in Treasured, really beautiful shades. 
um, very neutral and I've got um, pink, topaz and moonstone on. Moonstone just here and topaz um, on the outer corner just for that little bit of softness. I wonder whether I should move you in a little bit guys because I'm not sure I'm close enough for you. And the light's a little bit flat. Let's wait for the focus. There she goes. That's probably a little bit better. Oh, yes, I do need a little bit of colour in my face, don't I? Anyway, let's not obsess about that. Let's get on with the show. Right, so we're going to start with this really brilliant, sustainable vegan brand, um, American, uh, 1999. Um, and they do lots of different pencils that you can utilise for lots of different things. So, so this one is called Rosa and it's like a pinky, oh, it's well used, isn't it? Um, a nice pinky red. But the beauty of these is they're meant to be for the eyes, lips and cheeks. I do love them for the cheeks and I do love them for the lips because they are creamy, as you'll see, uh, and because they don't dry out, they do tend to move a lot around the eyes. So beware of that. Uh, and this is such a nice pinky red. Now, people really struggle with getting the right red. So I just thought I'd go through quite a few, take them off, take them on, and you could see the difference. Let's just pop this one on. Okay. Really nice, very soft. Pinky reds are great for someone who doesn't want too much contrast who has a very pale skin and doesn't want that real bright, sort of stuck on red lip. And also for skins that are slightly sallow, that need a little bit of a lift as well. The pinky reds can really kind of brighten and invigorate your complexion. Again, with these sort of undertones, um, I think it's always important to remember the easiest way to wear any, any way to, Oh, for goodness sake, the easiest way to wear any red is to make sure that you've got a really beautiful base on. What I mean by beautiful is you need to knock out any kind of imperfections, especially red ones, because the red and the brightness of a lipstick will really pull out that redness in your skin, so you can't really do like a natural finish. Um, these are so soft and almost invisible on your lips, and I love that with any kind of lip product. I don't like to feel that I've got it on my lips. I just like it to just look exactly like this. Um, you can buff it down to a real soft stain. So let me just put this on my pads of my fingers. Just blend this out really smoothly so it gets a nice sort of blurring effect. And obviously the Revolution Pro has um, given me a little bit of help in that department as well because it's allowing the lipstick not to look bumpy and to look soft on my lips. I'll just put that along there and that's so delicate. It's gone back down to a much more of a pink now but um, this brand is a really lovely if you like to use makeup playfully um, and you don't want to use specific products for specific products. Anyway on with the next one and we're going to be using Seeds of Colour. Okay so Seeds of Colour is a new range and it's um, all organic and natural and it comes in a little um, squeezy recyclable tube like this and looks like that and it's a very very lovely sort of as it said berry stain um, easy to wear and it's nice that it's darker so the other one that I used um, was much pinker and this has got a nice warm base to it um, and I think these colours, the pinks look nice with blonde hair, not as nice with the darker hair, I don't think. And these sort of warmer, browner shades are really flattering with a kind of pale complexion, but maybe like sort of lots of brown hair cascading all around. Or a short brown crop. I don't know why I was envisaging that. Anyway, really, really soft. Something that you can kind of Mm. chuck on in the car um, or just have in your handbag and you can pop it on it's super hydrating totally totally natural there's nothing in here that shouldn't be in here and um, it's a really lovely ethical brown but again that's almost sort of going back to the sort of very sort of basics but the seeds of color are really really 
lovely organic natural vegan brand um, so I just wanted to share that with you they have lots of different colors let's just see how now I've wiped it off my hands should we just see how that kind of works on the cheeks as too as, as well because as I've taught you over the years it's just quite nice so that's a little bit warmer than that pink one we had earlier whereas that was sort of brighter and fresher this is oh let's go there yeah you see this is a little bit more classic but again, really good on a sort of warmer complexion with sort of darker eyes, darker eyebrows, I think. But that creates a really kind of sort of nice, subtle flush. And again, just pushing it over the line, your lip line there, and just making sure that it's not too over your lip. Just gives a nice, subtle finish. It is super hydrating. There's nothing in there, no perfume, nothing to irritate your lips or to tingle it. Seeds of colour, look into that brand. Okay, let's take this off and go for the next one. I've just taken the colour off and just buffing over a little bit of very, very light base. And I'll go in with my stick just over that top line again. Just softens everything down, feels so nice on the lips. Now I've got something to show you that's really beautiful at the end of this film. I'm going to show you my two classics that I'm sure that you have seen before. Um, this is Velvet Jazz and this is my absolute favourite winter lipstick. This is Lisa Eldridge. I absolutely love it um, and very kindly, thank you Lisa, she sent me a brand new one for this film because my one is much much loved and not allowed to be on camera because it doesn't look like this. And secondly, Obsessed Pat McGrath, you know I've talked about this, this is my summer red. Again this is an orangey red and this is very much a kind of Merlot burgundy red, just nice and deep and I prefer this in the winter against my blonde hair um, because I just feel a little bit more classy like that but you know we all change but this is fabulous in the summer and really kind of gives me a little bit of a lift. So you've seen those shades before so I won't put those on um, but I just want to show you the ultimate lipstick. Now this is by Guerlain and you may know a makeup artist called um, Violette. She's French and she's based in New York. You may follow her really beautiful films. I think her husband is um, a filmographer or a director of sorts. Oh no, I've lost the top. Um, and um, they really are quite an exceptional couple. Anyway, she is now working for Guerlain um, and this is her first collection of legendary reds. Now, there are three shades in total and two different formulas. A satin, which is really soft and hydrating, but not satin as you would think greasy at all, I'll show you, and then one matte. Um, the reason that these are just so beautiful is that they come in these cases, and Guerlain do the most beautiful cases made by jewellers. So it opens up to reveal a lovely case. So you can open up your lipstick, and then you get to put your lipstick on with your little mirror and it is just so lovely. You can buy the lipstick separately and you buy the case separately and actually you can put any of your Guerlain lipsticks within these cases but these limited edition ones have the colour, um, the velvet at the front of the colour of the lipstick that you choose um, and trying to be a little bit more sustainable. Wouldn't it just be wonderful to forever have Guerlain lipsticks and to ever ever have this as your lipstick case because it is really, really stunning. I will show you the two textures just to help you out. So this is um, 1830. Now this colour is much more of an orangey red. Again, orangey reds work, or sort of orangey brick red. And um, these shades work, I think, again, with sort of red shy, but also with sort of pale complexions and again dark hair. I think it's a really, really lovely combination. I'll just show you. So this is the satin finish. So I always graduate the colour to the outer edge of my lip rather than sort of building the colour on from the outside so you don't end up with lots of pigment on the outside. Mm. See how much more bricky orangey this is? Um, I don't think it's particularly flattering on my colouring, especially with the pink eyeshadow. <laughs> no. Uh, that doesn't work at all. So that actually might be really helpful kind of lesson for you to see sort of 
you know how these kind of warmer colors of clash with like a, a sort of more of an icy pink mm. yeah so so lovely <laughs> like I say it doesn't go with the pink eyeshadow at all um, but this is not the color I'm going to stick with but actually it's quite a good learning isn't it to see how those colors do not connect together but if I had my maybe my natural hair color um, and just a little bit of warmth to my makeup that would just look absolutely beautiful and it's finding those reds that kind of work for you and your skin tone your hair color and you've got to decide whether you want to have a real kind of like strong juxtaposition between the red and your skin or whether you want something a little bit more subtle and adding the pinks in and adding the kind of bricky reds does make it a little bit more wearable and subtle so let me take this one off and then I'll show you the next one it's a little bit of my pro revolution pro across the front of the lip and we will go in with a darker shade um, which is here I mean this is just so exquisite I need to just this is so this is number one um, eight seven zero now this is the matte texture oh look at that I mean it's just so decadent it makes my toes curl with excitement and I just want to be this lady mm-mm-mm so just take it to my cupid's bow and then rub together to get a nice placement of color Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Let's get into the little corners. Now for me, this texture works better just because of the fine lines around my mouth. Um, it stays put and it's not too sheeny. It is still light reflective. Um, but because it's matter, it doesn't emphasize the little bumps around my lips and it is like absolutely divine in texture again guaranteed that you won't even feel like you've got lippy on oh that's so beautiful now let's just inject a little bit more color into my cheeks and a little bit of a glow so I won't I'll keep my pale skin might just warm this up a little bit too just in the socket there that's better just adding that water it's so lovely to kind of almost sort of mush the colors of your makeup together so they all kind of work together sort of just giving all maybe like a wash is better than a mush <laughs> should I say um, and that just ties everything together let me see lovely she looks nice and elegant doesn't she but I will do, oh, this is a very beautiful product, this. This is Ven, it's Japanese. Um, and it's a really nice skincare brand. This is the Red Oil Serum, but I've been using this as a kind of like a little highlighter when my skin feels a little flat, but I don't feel like having anything slightly metallic. And I just rub it really, really well into my hands and just press it on the outside just across my forehead. So it lifts a little bit of the makeup in terms of where I've done the coverage oh it smells amazing um but it just gives a little bit of um a little bit more radiance to my skin see what I mean it's like a little bit more life and I just feel a little bit fresher like that when I've got such a strong lip on oh this is definitely within the favorites absolutely lovely so whoever you celebrate with whether it's your son your daughter your grandma your father your best friend or simply you stay in and love yourself much love to you all for Valentine's Day and um, I hope that you've found this a nice little relaxing inspiration on different brands and different textures and how to enjoy colour on your lips. Even for someone who doesn't have the most perfect lips, we can still decorate our faces to look, um, to say better, to look sort of taken care of. Um, and uh, I'm really wishing on, but apparently many of you like me wishing on. I have to really rein it in because, oh my God, I love to witter. But anyway, uh, bye for now. <laughs>